これより第4試合を行いますアコーダー 188cm82.9kg アンデルソンシュー Spider-Man Anderson Silva is 29, 6'2", 183 pounds, 3 and 1 in Pride Fighting Championships. 175cm, 82.7kg. The Butchering Piranha, Rio Chonan, is 28, 5'9", 176 pounds. He is 1 and 1 in Pride. Boss Chonan coming off the biggest win of his career. As he upset Carlos Newton, and Anderson Silva also holds a victory over Newton, and Chonan says that this will indeed probably be his toughest test, and he relishes the chance to fight a man the caliber of Anderson Silva. It's been 18 months since we saw Silva in Pride. Yep, but he is good. This guy is really good. Stamina won't be a problem, that's one thing for sure. Technical, pinpoint accurate, his submissions are slick, he's the, he's the whole package. Watch his hometown, Rio? Because Rio Chonan, that would be, <laughs> he's fighting somebody from Rio. Thank you very much, sir. I'm sure you're here all week. All right, Chonan says that he will engage in a stand-up war if necessary with Silva. Silva, again, a Muay Thai technician, also being from Brazil. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is in his blood. So again, Chonan, as you can see already, boss, very cautious, going through a filling out process here with Silva. Yeah, he, uh, Chonan really has to watch out for the high kicks also, the straight punches. You, watch, you see his arms are very long, he's got a long reach. Um, it, like I said, his knees, he got flying knees. And as you can see here, Chonan is wearing like loose shorts and Silva is wearing tight shorts. He does the high kick. kick. I told you. He's good. And uh, I don't know, the loose shorts, I don't, you can grab, but it's not allowed really to grab them. Um, they look shiny, so maybe they are slippery. Normally I would say long pants. No, it's not that bad. Nice, nice right overhand there. overhand right delivered by Chonan. Yeah, but now Anderson Silva. He's got his attention. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh nice no. combination by Silva oh. as he rocks Chonan with that left hand and now they are slugging it out goes for the yep, takedown does and, and there he goes the rear naked choke no instead drops the right hand but he does have him in a very precarious position a wing block here now by Chonan as he knows he's in danger yep and again he's got the body triangle on so for Chonan, there's no escape right now. There's no way he's going to turn into his guard. But they don't call Silva Spider-Man for nothing. He has a three-inch height advantage, a long reach advantage over Chonan. And again, the last time we saw Silva, he was upset by Daiju Takase 18 months ago. But he is a very accomplished fighter. Now with Muay Thai Dream Team, a product of Shudebox Academy in Brazil before that. And right here, boss, he has him wrapped up in that figure four waist lock. Yeah, and he's banging away, although the punches are not really 100% hit. But maybe he's just looking for a choke also. And Chonan doing the right thing there, grabbing his arm, not allowing him to wrap it around his throat. But Chonan looks to be hurt, pause and dazed from those shots he took while standing up. A very crisp puncher is Anderson Silva. Yeah, if I were him, I would lay down there and relax and uh, re recoup. Oh, there we go for the choke again. Oh, he's got a real good defense, Chonan. Body shot underneath the armpit. Nice elbow there delivered to the thigh by Chonan. Again, merely just trying to stave off this onslaught of strikes by Silva from the back, boss. Yep, Silva's doing a good job, but they have to do something better because if they don't improve their positions or they don't hurt the opponent, then they will restart it on their feet. What should Chonan do here? I know he's merely trying just to defend the strikes from the back, but how does he, should he try to turn the tables here, boss? He should try to push the right knee of um, Anderson Silva off to the side, push it to the right, and hopefully it goes over the foot, because otherwise it's very difficult to escape. This is a very tight uh, body triangle. Are you surprised that Silva hasn't been able to slip in the choke, although now he is trying to, no, but Chonan's okay. doing a good job of defending it, boss. You know what, with these gloves, it's very, yeah, very difficult. difficult to go underneath the jaw. You really have to uh, set it up the right way, you know, you gotta... Um, 
see what you can do. Pull the forehead or something so the jaw comes up and then slip it underneath. Hey, let's not forget in his Pride debut at Bushido 3 in May last year that uh, against a, a very accomplished submission fighter in Ricardo Big Dog Almeida that his submission defense was very good. I'm talking yep. about Jonas. So, uh, you know, I'm not surprised that he's been able to um, stave off this attack thus far, weathering the storm of Anderson Silva. Yep, I don't. I thought that Anderson Silva wanted to push him away now, open the guy to push him away. You see the body triangle is gone. Right, he's got the hooks in. Yep. And maybe setting Look, there. Now he can turn. Beautiful see? transition here by Jonan. There is the spider guard there by Silva, hence the nickname Spider-Man perhaps. <laughs> yeah. Peter Parker. Now, closing the guard is Silva, but look there, smart yeah. move by Silva. You see, again, using those arms are just unbelievably long. Yep. Now, let's see what Chonan can do in his guard. Nice, nice body slice. shot and one to the head. Oh, I like it so much when they mix it up. It's really, on paper, it looked like it was going to be a great fight, and thus far, they are delivering the goods here. Rio Chonan against Anderson Silva, Pride Fighting Championships, Shockwave. Now, this I never saw in my life. He's got a bloody triangle uh, in his guard. I, this I never saw. That means, yeah, he's a Spider-Man. He's got real long legs because Sammy Shield probably could do it, but he can do it too. Now, Jonan within the guard, still trying to strike, but I mean, he has to posture here, boss, and try to escape the guard somehow. But yeah, they're just busy striking with both, the, both of them. Yeah, and it's very difficult. Again, you know, that uh, triangle hold there, once it's behind the knee, it's very difficult to break. Yeah, for sure. He's got, nice like you say, that bigger board. Look at this, he's controlling the right arm of Jonan now, but Jonan is banging away there with his, uh, with his fists. Looping hands there. Looking like fader punches almost. Like overhands. Nice heel strike there as well. I mean, Silva doing so much from the bottom in defending. And now he's blooding up Jonan as well with those strikes from underneath and uh, doing a good job of keeping that guard closed. And now Jonan with some left hands to the side of the face. Really just um, some taps, not really some damaging blows. Reddening the face, not exactly. Bloody the Bloody face. the face. Just nope. Reddening it. You know what, Jonan, I, I, I have respect for him. I mean, he took some punishment in the beginning and he just, bam, reverses it. And now, look at this. And again, look at how he's positioning himself here. He's going Silva for going a for a Kimura. Yep. But again, just comes back and just brings Chonan back close to him. So again, boss, when you're against a guy like Silva, now there's Chonan posturing, just strikes, landing those bombs now. But Silva answering in kind. I was going to say, what does Chonan have to do to take the upper hand? But I think it's almost impossible against a guy like Silva from this vantage point. Yep. I think so too. I'm, I, I just wonder what the referee is going to do because they are working a lot and a lot, but there is no finishing move in this. Right. It's almost like they're at a stalemate of strikes. He's pulling here. Anderson Silva is pulling his uh, right foot behind his left knee to tighten it up a little bit more. But really, all that's doing is keeping yep. him close to him. And now Jonan doing a good job of creating the distance. Now there's a nice right hand. Delivered by Chonan. That was a good thing that you said, actually, uh, Maro, because he's pulling him closer to him. Chonan has the shorter reach advantage, so that means that Chonan can hit harder from close distance than Silva can. So that's not smart what he's doing right now. Well, the referee now calling for a break, and what? it looks like he's going to give the yellow to perhaps Anderson Silva. It is to Anderson Silva, and you know what, boss, it's interesting. I was just going to mention that even though he was doing a great job of uh, controlling Jonan for the most part, he really wasn't doing a lot to try to escape the situation. Yep. He was neutralizing it, but not escaping it. Yep, you're absolutely right. And that's, uh, you know, that's why the yellow card was given, because as we mentioned, he didn't work to improve his position, so uh, now they're back on their feet. This is, oh, nice spinning back fist. Silva ducks and now finds himself in the close guard of Chonan. So now let's see 
how those long limbs of Silva come into play. Nice up kick delivered by Jonas. Yeah, he's doing a real good job. Very impressive. And his stock continues to rise here in Pride Fighting Championships. He hung in tough against Almeida before losing the decision and then really shocked a lot of people in the MMA world with his dominating victory over Carlos Newton. And now he's hanging in there with Anderson Silva here at Shockwave. Inside, low kick delivered by Chonan. Last minute of the opening round, high kick delivered by Silva. Yep, but perfectly blocked there by Chonan. There's that, again, that overhand right. He's doing a good job with that hand. With bad intentions. And now Silva begins to feel that, okay, I'm in a war here, let's pick things up. You can see Noguera and Bustamante watching intently as well. We have the, the best fighters in the world taking in the action. Of course, Noguera will be in the main event tonight. Or it was his brother, of course, his twin brother. <laughs> well, there you go. And uh, rightfully so, perhaps. And we can tell you that indeed, Rodrigo is backstage warming up. My bad, as they say, boss. Hey, what can you do, man? From this side here, you cannot see the ears. That's the only way I can tell them apart. And there is the end of what has been a terrific opening round of action between Rio Chonan and our friend Anderson Silva making his return to Pride Fighting Championships. Boss, your thoughts on a thrilling 10 minutes? Well, I think that this round goes to Rio Chonan. Did a really good job. The opening of the round, of course, was for Anderson Silva because he went there with the punches and he really hurt him, but Rio Chonan came back from the dead, bam, 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 and he took over the fight. So heading into the second round, we know as you look at the action here, boss. Boom, that's what I meant. That was the beginning of the round. Look at this. Whoa. Yeah, and you know what? Chonan did a better job on the ground, so well, that's I believe that maybe Chonan is going to take the fight to the ground again. But you, uh, on the other hand, he didn't do bad on his feet either. No, but definitely that's his uh, modus operandi. Uh, Chonan definitely wants to be on the ground against uh, Silva, and in fact, in most fights. And there you see what he was able to do on the ground, boss. Yep, he's doing a real good job. Look at this. And looping hands. One. Oh, nicely blocked there by Anderson Silva, though. That was a good one. Oh, Anderson Silva coming back with a nice right. And there a nice right from Chonan. You know, they're training punches, although I think on the ground, Chonan was the better one. Yeah, both look real relaxed. Both look in phenomenal shape. Look, they don't breathe at all. Yeah, of course, they breathe a little bit because otherwise they can't live. <laughs> That's what Mr. Miyagi always said. Huh? Keep breathing. In, out. Yeah, wax on, wax off. That's also a thing that he said. The philosophy of life defense, according side to, to side. Al Wapo. Anderson Silva coming off a competitive high in 2004. In September, he defeated Lee Murray at a Cage Rage event in England. In June, he beat MMA veteran Jeremy Horn at the Gladiator Fighting Championships card in South Korea. So he will try to continue that winning streak tonight against Rio Jonan, but he knows he's in a war right now. Yes, he is. Chonan's doing phenomenal. Silva doing some bobbing and weaving. Chonan as well. Bouncing up and down on the balls of his feet as they again go through that feeling out process here early in round number two. Unbelievable if you think about it. This is the first fight that goes into the second round. Whoa, nice kick there. Nice left too. Light by the right. Wow. Some training There's here. There's a jumping left. By Silva, and we really haven't seen much of the Muay Thai skills that Silva's known for. There's a waist lock, oh, and there's a suplex yeah, but by you, Silva. It was nicely blocked by Chonan, so he couldn't throw him all yes, over. That's right, didn't get the full effect. And that high kick came, but, you know, Chonan is, has his eyes on his opponent, and he blocks everything that he sees coming. Real good. And it's interesting that really Silva, no, misses oh. what the uppercut does, Chonan. It's interesting that Silva hasn't really been able to exploit that reach advantage to the full degree as he delivers another nice inside low kick. Yeah, that was a hard Chonan, one. Chonan, and do you think that maybe Silva 
is beginning to respect Shonan more than he did before the fight started. I'm talking about the stand-up skills, boss. Yeah, he has to. I mean, there's the first tie clinch, and there's the first knee from the Muay Thai technician. This is a good fight. Very good fight. Hey, he changes uh, into the normal stance, Anderson Silva. He went from southpaw to a normal stance. See? Mm-hmm. Jonan has that left hand down, and again, with the reach advantage as it is, maybe he's starting to feel confident. No, he's tagged nice. with that right. Whoa, and another one. You see what Jonan does? He circles to the left. He circles away from his opponent. It's so important that you don't go straight backwards. Bring up a very salient point, although oh. he's tagged with that right hand. That was a hard Jonan one. Jonan can take a punch. <laughs> yes, he can. Another, and that seems to be his strategy there, is to go after the right leg of Silva. Now they exchange blows. The tie clinch again by Silva, and he's going to set him up for a knee up the middle, perhaps. Your boss, no! Instead, it's Jonan who oh. strikes first with the knee. And strikes and takes him down with a single leg now. Now, we're going to see all over the same thing that we saw in round number one. I think, I believe that Rio Chonan is going to do a real good job here, one's on the ground. And there we go again. He sets it up for a reverse figure four, you see. He's pushing with his, yep, there we go. That's a reverse And now he's looking to go for the Kimura, but he has his leg stuck. And really, boss, I think so far Chonan has taken away Silva's strength standing up. And this is where Chonan wants to be, so it's going to be interesting to see what transpires the rest of the way. Yeah, but you know what? Anderson Silva received the yellow card in round number one so he knows now that he has to work from this position otherwise he's going to get another one and that's 10 percent from your pay and of course and he is very good from this position but it's just interesting to note how successful jonan has been thus far although he really hasn't gone for any submission attempts he's been able to strike and create distance but again he has to go for the finish as well yep now the open guard You can hear them screaming out for the omoplata in Silva's corner. Which again is the shoulder lock. Yep. But Shonan staying busy as well up top. But then there is that figure four. What, what should Chonan be doing more of here, boss, again, to try? I mean, you say it's almost impossible to escape this unique guard, but what yeah. can he try to do? Um, nothing. Everything that he's doing right now, he's doing good. But uh, Anderson Silva is just really good in deflecting the punches that he throws. He he's just keeps his eyes on his opponent, which is what a lot of people don't do, and uh, just bob and weaves on the ground. Should Chonan try to stand up from this position? No, because right now... Anderson Silva, if he doesn't keep moving, he's going to receive another yellow card. I think right now Chonan is ahead on points for sure. Also in round number two. It's interesting that the Brazilian corner much more vocal than the Japanese corner right now, which would, I think, indicate that they are cognizant of how this fight is going. Well, almost a side joke there, but Chonan pulled it out right away. He should try to pass the guard. Okay. End of Not round anymore. two. And I think it is safe to say a round that belonged to the Japanese butchering piranha, Rio Chonan, who I think is uh, adding to his fan club as the minutes uh, go by here in Pride Fighting Championships, boss. Yep. What a strange name, actually. Uh, <laughs> Butchering Priranya. I, I think mean, the I think it has to do some with his uh, hairstyle and facial features, but you know, I, I, it, I, it's a it's a popular nickname for him. Yeah, but also you know he's attacking all the time, and what that's what Piranhas do. Look at here the replay. Look at that punch. It was kind of with the back of his hand. Did you see that? His fists, his knuckles went all the way down. Let's see if he can do it again. Boom! See, that was kind of strange. Yes, piranhas are known for their ferocity, and uh, he's a very ferocious fighter. Nice ability to duck the punch oh. and come back with a right of his own right there, boss. Yeah. You know, and you see, look at his eye. Oh, he bends, but he keeps looking now. Both of them, actually. See, they're aiming. Wow. What a slugfest here. 
It had to be a knee, but then he was from him, and he took the leg now, and he went for the single. You know, you talk about adding insult to injury. Uh, it's Anderson Silva, who's known for his Muay Thai skills, sets up Chonan in the Thai clinch, and Chonan says, boom, here's a knee for you. Yeah, before you do it to me. You know, Chonan, before coming to Pride Fighting Championships, uh, was 6-2 and two in the smaller Japanese MMA organization known as Deep and had a victory over Hayato Maha Sakurai, who has uh, definitely earned an international reputation for his MMA abilities. So uh, this guy kind of put himself on the MMA map early on in his career, boss. Yep. He, and he's a star on the rise, you know, he's already winning, and uh, but he will continually, continuously doing this if he keeps fighting like this. He's improving all the time. Well, going into the third round, I think uh, Chonan, it's his fight to lose, boss. And uh, so far, I think he has been able to dictate, really, no matter where they are, standing or on the ground, what do you think Anderson Silva has to do to pull up this fight right now? He should keep it on his feet, use his long arms, make straight punches, forget about the hooks right now, open up with straight punches, and that high kick. He's got a real good high kick, although Chonan blocked every one of them, but still, you know, try and maybe you will succeed. It's strange, Jonah has his hands so low, but every time he blocks, it's just Quick reflexes. Yeah. It's kind of a bait, I guess, you know? You put yeah. your hands low, you pretty much know that your opponent's gonna kick you in the head, right? Very confident. And man, Ooh. he can take a shot. I mean, Silva has got a lot of snap, a lot of power behind those punches. Whoa, that's the kick. kick. That's the kick I was talking about, you have to watch out for. And he did. <laughs> yeah, he ducked it. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, this could be dangerous, yep, in the butt scoop position right now. But see, you're right. See, Silva wants to keep it on the ground. He or on the feet. He knows that this is the final round. He probably knows that he's going to have to either submit him or knock him out to earn the victory. Looks like he sets up a flying knee for the left knee. For some reason, I think that. And for some reason, I wouldn't be surprised if Chonan comes with a flying right knee of his own before he <laughs> yeah. delivers the one. A rabbit punch there by Silva. Again, probably due to the height advantage. Not delivered on purpose. Okay, this, again, the third round, you would expect a little more action on the part of Anderson Silva here, boss. Yeah, he needs to uh, turn it up a notch because otherwise he's going to lose this fight. He needs a knockout or a real good finish. And yet he's backing up. Yeah, but it could be a bait, you know. You get too aggressive and you walk in, you think, oh, he's afraid of me, and then suddenly they come back with a counter strike. Could be a setup. Oh, oh nice middle kick delivered by Chonan. Almost looked like he hit the hip bone there. So that, that hurts. Trust me. Whoa. Nice left by Chonan. Nice low kick inside oh, again. Oh, and uh, Silva is able to tag him on the jaw. Does so again with that right. Yeah. But Chonan seems to be impervious to those shots to the face tonight. Yep. Look at the counter speed. Real good. I'm becoming more and more impressed with Rio Chonan as he now goes in close to Ty Clinch, able to push away. And another and it right looks like he's kick. beginning yeah. to decimate that Ooh. right leg as You're those series of low kicks have taken their toll. Yep, they do. And there we go with another one, but that's in the other leg. You see Anderson Silva switch stance. Oh, yes. now he goes forward again in the softball position. So Jonan right away should kick with the right leg inside yep, take out. Take away the lead. Oh, look at this! Whoa, this is good! I mean, you can only see this in demonstrations, you know. This guy just does Look at real. At this three minutes and eight seconds of the final round, a masterpiece of an MMA performance tonight from Rio Chonan, a fight that he was well on his way to winning. He puts an exclamation point on it, boss. Let's take a look at that winning leg lock submission victory. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Went for the scissor, took him down, and then right away for the heel hook.